Welcome guys, welcome, 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 uh, Grumpill Gamer, with you again, right, that's my chat. Um, have you probably seen my first couple of little videos I bought out? Um, obviously yesterday, look at this little game called it, Symmetical, wow. We had a little go at it, and to be honest with you, I was pretty useless, but anyway. Uh, we've had a little update again, as you can well see, um. I've got my thing up there, so I'm just going to sort on some of video preferences out. Put it on full screen. Um, these things get there, okay? And my lovely job. Right. Okay, then. Um, still got all the same bits and bobs here. Um, hopefully, we'll see if anything has gone wrong. We'll never know. Right, okay. So, anyway, so we had a little play around with it yesterday. Now, I reckon, we to, I reckon today we need to look into it a little bit more um see how it goes really um see what things do so what we can upgrade and stuff like that and see how the how lot of schedulings and statuses work and stuff like that right um as you can well see we've got obviously drop offs and a pickup zone i don't know why the pickup zone is so small and the garbage zone is like right in front of the area so what we're going to do is that first things first at the end of the day when you turn up you don't really want to be looking at a load of garbage do you uh we'll get rid of the drop offs as well and we'll get rid of the pickups because well we don't really need it anyway garbage zone so we'll have a we'll have a nice bit of garbage zone say like doesn't work minimum of one garbage zone Okay, no um, there we are, that's our garbage zone there, yeah? Um, and we have drop-offs. Now, I think we're going to have a drop-off zone. I'm going to put it all across, yeah? And quite clearly we need a pick-up zone because obviously when the people come out they need to be picked up, don't they? Okay, right, so we got a bit of that there so right uh, so we've got baggage claim area here so obviously the baggage come out as we all were known in the last one but we'll have a look at other things there's a bus there we come on stop and stuff like that we've got a janitor obviously you've got nothing to do right first things first we've got a couple of ticket offices here and I reckon we need to have a queue system Right, let's let let's do it again. Um, let's see if I've got something wrong here. Let me start again, okay? Um, oh, obviously we need them to queue like that, and then we need them to queue again like that, okay? Uh, we'll probably have to have, have to speed a few things up. To see, right. So we've got a ticket and going there, restrooms there, we've got a person checking out here. So we have this one little gate, this gate here, that's for one plane. Um, up top here, that's my bank balance. But obviously passenger status isn't very happy because nobody's gone, because nobody's gone in the airport yet. Uh, airlines interest, right. So, out of all these airlines we have here, we've only got a couple that's interested. So, let's have a look. Well, we can't accept anything yet because we need the lights because it's a night time on that one. Mm, we don't really want to have that one, so we go for there. Look, well, Boeing 767, which has 180 passengers, or 737, which has 140. But no, we, we want something a bit smaller. Beautiful. 19 passengers, yeah. It's not a lot, but we'll, but we'll accept it, okay? We'll bring up the schedules, and as we can see in the schedules, it is, I can move the arrival times if I want to. So I can arrive, put it up to there, or I can put it back to here, okay? So, so obviously we'll have it come in at four o'clock, that's, that, that's good enough for me. Um, obviously they've got some big planes out there. I really want to have some small planes in, to be honest with you. Um, Obviously, that's at night time, so we have to have a runway. So anyway, so we've got some queuing system here 
for people to come in. Now, we've got this. No, 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 no. I don't know why I've done that with the queuing thing, but we'll get rid of that again. That's another thing, I don't like this queuing thing. So, right. Um, I would like to make, say, this bit here a bit bigger. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this this area here because I want to make security slightly bigger. The only reason why I say that is because obviously we're going to have a lot of people coming in eventually. So we've got a plan ahead. So we've done that. So we put some foundations in. Um, across like that. There we are. So obviously they'll come in now and do their thing. Hopefully, he says. Willingly. See, the other thing is they go right round and right round and down there. That, that, I don't get that, but anyway. Yeah, so we can actually have a bigger security area put in. Um, so I don't want to put the wall there. That's a bit, a bit silly. So we'll, have, we'll have that wall taken out. Like that, okay. Um, quite clearly, we need to have a wall in there because that hasn't worked very well, has it? So we'll wait for them to come in, put a little wall in there. We are look at that, right? So we've got the zones: we've got baggage, a cafe, deliveries, uh, drop off. So you can only have a maximum one drop off allowed, obviously, for this size airport. Okay, we can do that. Um, let me drop off garbage, kitchen, and office. Okay, um, we've got security as well ticket in, restrooms, and pickups. So, tick in what we need to do it, it, no, not to keep the security, we need to extend the security bit like that. Okay, so we've now got a slightly bigger security because. I would like to, I oh know you don't have to if you don't want to, but I would like to add um, another scanner in and I would like to add some metal detectors in. I'm going to press R to turn it um, and yeah, there are, there's some scanners put in. Right, what we need to do now is we need to get some staff. Now obviously when you put this stuff in, you need to put staff in. So, there's going to be security. If you look down on here, security is clear bags and passengers as they make their way through the airport. So we'll have one, two, three. Okay. Um, quite clearly, we need to build um, another another ID another ID check stand. Um, this is for people coming in. Um, so we'll have one there and we'll stick one there just to make sure. Okay. Uh, security. Obviously, let them build that first. And that's it. But yeah, we'll have another one there and another one there just to just to wrap up. So we've got our passengers coming in, scanning them in. Okay. So they go through there, right. So, I reckon, to keep them happy, we need some seating. So, we'll put some seating about there, okay? That will help our little passengers. Now we've got a little plane in. They've come in, they've done their bit. And there goes a little baggage, baggage things for people's bags to go in. And people pick their bags up, so obviously people have been queuing there. Okay? So... I reckon we need some more staff. So I reckon we should add some more staff to stand there, okay? Now, now we've had that plane come in, we've got some, so we should have a look at some plane interest. So we click up the top here, uh, night flight, night flight, except, so, um, I don't know. Shall we go for a bigger plane? I don't know. Shall we go for the seven? We'll try the seven three seven. Okay, just to see if we can get through this all right. Um, while we're doing that, we're going to 
we are going to build another hangar. We're going to build a hangar outside. The reason is, is because I would like to show you guys how to put the baggage system in. Okay. So here comes the passengers coming through. Um, they've come in, queuing up, coming through like that, and see, look, see, look, they're all coming in. I might have to. I think I might build something nice outside here in a minute. We'll um, we'll have to see, yeah. So everyone's waiting to come in. Everyone comes out. So look at no problem at all. Bags come out for a little. So you can see a lot of passengers here haven't got baggage. Um, obviously, when they get bigger, I think they're a bit more different than that. But yeah, we'll have a look. Um, there we are, and the plane's now on its way. And we still have issues with passengers, with people getting stuck. See? That there, oh dear. That's a bit of a problem, see? Because it makes it go. This is the problem is the passenger satisfaction falls. So. If we look at our schedule again, so every day we have Pacific Air come in at 4 a.m. and departs at 6, and a Ford Air comes in at 12 and departs at 2. So now we have a medium hangar. Simple. Right. This is where things can start getting a little bit because we're having issues with this. Right, anyway. Uh, you, go to, you go to utilities and we want one of these. Now, it's quite clearly stated you've got the thing to come in and the thing to come out so what are what we are going to do is we're going to do this we need to put that in there and we need to fit a carous a baggage carousel so we're going to fit a barry a baggage carousel there now we need to put a car oh, dark and I can't see what I'm doing right these little arrows here okay are obviously this this is for baggage to go from here to here so we're going to start with this one we're going to go up and we're going to go we're going to go up and stop okay and then we're going to go Across. Now, hopefully, that will do it. If not, I'll have to go up and around, which I think I might have to. So I'll do it now, like that. Okay. Uh, we're going to go up with this one, and then across with that one, because we need the baggage to go from the from the check-in to the conveyor. Okay. So as that's coming up, you can see that they're doing that. And we'll soon see in a sec when they've actually built it and see what happens, hopefully. There we are. The passengers are coming in and booking already, but the, but the system's not up and running yet. Okay. So, we've got the system there running, so it's going to go in, into there. So, the next thing we need to do is that we need to get the bags one, from here to down to the baggage claim area. And for some reason, that didn't work. That did. Okay. So they just almost finished this one here to go up and around. Okay. Obviously, the plane's leaving. We don't want to get too many planes in at the moment. Just enough that's going to help us out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that is. Right. From there to there. And from there to there. So, that now should give us... See, so you can't see it there. Obviously, it needs a baggage cart. So, a baggage cart, yeah? So, as we're sorting this out... We go to the medium hangar and you're going to sign a vehicle. So you've got slot one is a baggage car. Okay. So that will now, when a plane lands, we'll, we should see a plane land later on. If we click on utilities again, click on the line, 
they're just doing this last little bit now for the conveyor to the baggage claim area. And, and, and as you can see, look at that. But let's slow down a bit. You can see the bits of bag, little bits of baggage going down into the baggage route and station. So at least they know where they're going, okay? All right, let's speed it up again. Let them finish their little job off first. So hopefully when the plane lands, we will have a baggage system that's working. There we are. So hopefully that plane lands, we can still see if we, if we can speed up a little bit. The baggage cart will come out, pick up the bags, And see that all the way down there, look, all the little bags, well obviously they're not true to form, into there. And it it doesn't work properly, but hey ho, it's, it, it's still a little game. But everyone, but obviously people are still there, they can't know it's there. Anyway, um, you get the gist of it really, don't you, to be honest with you. Um, so anyway, yes. So, what's my bank balance? Well... My well, staff expense is 18,000, so I am making, I'm not making a profit, I'm actually making a loss. But now we have everything up and running. So we'll now look at the airport. See, more planes have decided they want my business. So, what we got here, we have got, oh, that's all night flights. Um, that's... Daytime flights, A3A, that's a big plane. That's that I can't have that one just yet. Um That's some big planes there. That's some I need some smaller planes. Um see the bombardier. But that's not, that one's not shown on there, so this one here, so this is the beach, so it's only got nineteen passengers and we'll accept that one. Okay, and uh, the Juno Collect, that's got some odd ones there, oh, let's go down, um, Aerostar, they have, their planes are too big for me, oh, and there's one here which is the Embrace, Embra, 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 right, we go to the schedule, always go to the schedule and we can see, see, we have the early morning flights and we have some afternoon flights coming in which is good we can live with that we can live with that um so let's live with that for a minute um they seen the baggage bit working um yeah the problem is i look we've got this person here that's stuck and it's making my rating go down because he's stuck and this is the problem i can't until they've sorted these little bits out it's still but yeah anyway uh, going into the night, we've got a trash bag there, haven't we? Okay, so nothing too over the top. People are oh, quick, I'll build this, I'll build that. But you don't have to build it, right? Um, we'll have a cash machine. The only reason why we'll have a cash machine is because I'm going to put in as well electronic vending machines. There's one there and one there. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. And to make things a little bit quicker for the old um, for them, we are going to we're going to put a couple of a couple of self-service ticket booths in. We're going to give them a bit of a cue, just in case. There. So they can check in pretty quick. Okay. <coughs> right. Okay, so what we need, need to do now is that we're going to need to put some... Put some cue in there. Put some cue in there. We're going to put some queue in there. And obviously that doesn't work. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, oh. Anyway. I need to get people to walk through that, but they won't walk through it. Right, okay. Uh, objects. Right. Um, shall I put a bush in, or shall I put some trees in? I don't know. What should I do? Uh, Runway, gate, sliding door, toilet. I don't know toilet in, do I? Uh, let's put decorative tree in. Can't be facing door. It must be plant. Um, what do they don't have, though? You notice that they don't have. See, people are getting stuck again. See if I can clear that. Can, can I clear that? See what happens. Yeah, so I need to put another one. I need to put. And you got caught. You got stuck again, haven't you? Right, I need to sort this out. Right, so we've got our planes coming in out. We've got people. See, why are they standing? Why are they standing up? You've got seats. Um. Ah, I know what I do. Let's. Where is it? Where's the gate? Where's the where's the gate? Where's the gate? Where's the gate? Security exit, yeah. See if people actually people will walk out of it, but people won't. If you know what I mean? Let's have a look. Obviously, I think the plane's already gone for the day now. So yeah. Okay. So quite clearly, we have problems. Of so what are these people waiting here for? Another door in, see what happens. Eh? Okay, let's put another door in, see if, see if that'll work, yeah? Hopefully, that might. Oh, look, 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 he's stuck. So, anyway. So, yeah. I think this might do for this episode. Um, so I, I, I hope I've explained how to use the conveyor line and how to link it up. And so with the conveyor line, you've got to have a hanger with a baggage cart, otherwise it will not work. We've added a few little um, entrances in. I just want to see if we can actually get these lanes to work. If you're not going to people queue up instead of running through like absolute nutcases and trying to do bits and bobs and stuff like that. Um see that trash bag there for some unknown reason I don't know it shouldn't be there. Um yeah I I, t I tell you what we'll do we'll, while we're waiting for it because I don't want to bore you guys. Um we're gonna have a pavement. Right there. See they did what why did they why are they doing that? Hmm. I don't know. 
Yeah, really strange, um. Yeah, sorry guys, I've just, I'm, sorry, I should be with you, but I'm not. I'm just trying to think, obviously, the same as you, I'm on the fly here, trying to work out what's going on. Um, Another plane's come in. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a look at the plane seat. A lot of the planes on this side, they don't want to know me again. Um, let's have a 767 in the morning. Let's have a look at the schedule. Move you a little bit earlier. Um, We'll have that one as well, and we'll have that one as well, okay? And we'll look at the schedule, and... Oh, that could be a problem. Uh, there we are. So they're all going to come in, in and out of their own little times, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so we've got the baggage going. We're still watching people get stuck. Um, and stuff like that. So yeah, so we're plane comes in with quite a lot of people there we are out they come see a lot like a lot of them are just ham they're not baggage but that's another problem we have to have to try and figure out is the bags that go around like that because the people can't actually um i don't pick them up if you know what i mean they'll just stand there so that'll have to be sort of that and a few people are a bit a bit, a bit annoyed so but anyway guys thank you very much is appreciate you watching me doing this it is a, it is utmostly appreciated um and um we'll have a look at some other things next time in this game but thank you very much for watching it's appreciated as normal as always and i'll speak to you later on bye bye now